Scrappy People, it's Tracy Reed here today coming at you with a uh, 9x12 pocket spread to coordinate with the 9x12 uh, layout I have there on the right hand side that I already have a process video up for on this channel. I released it previously this week, so if you're interested in that one, you can go ahead and check that one out um, a few episodes back, probably. So I am... Uh, pairing this pocket spread with this 9x12 um, layout, but I don't want it to be like matchy matchy. It doesn't have to be perfectly coordinated. It's already going to be very coordinated because I am using the Coco Daisy um, paper and ink collections and all of the goodies that came with that. Um, so a loose coordination is great in my eyes. I have that blue paper there on the left hand side that um, is the background that I use for the 9x12 layout so I'll incorporate that in a little bit too just to draw that pattern across both sides. So um, initially I was debating on whether or not I wanted full photos or um, smaller photos in my pockets but um, I was really feeling going back to my regular pocket style which is super layery with trimmed down photos that aren't completely filling up the pockets. So I went ahead and pulled those aside and then I am going to start pulling in um, papers to match. Trying not to use 12 by 12 papers but rather the 6x6 pad or the 6x8 pad from the planner kit just so that um, I can conserve my paper as much as possible especially since Coco Daisy is not doing 12 by 12 kits anymore. Um, I want to save as much 12 by 12 paper for 9 by 12 layouts as possible. So now I'm going to pull out all of these photos because I was not enjoying life trying to uh, pull photos out as I went along. So I'm going to pull them all out ahead of time. Also, these pockets are, they're much better sized than the Becky Higgins pockets that I feel like I'm constantly trimming down 3x4s, but they are still super tight on a 3x4, especially since I'd already decorated the stuff on the other side, so pulling those photos in and out was kind of a pain in the butt anyway. So I trimmed this photo vertically so that I needed to add a vertical paper strip to it. Um, this was the dumbest way possible that I could have done this. <laughs> so I'm going to change the way I do it with the next photo. Um, I could not get that photo on straight. I should have adhered it and then trimmed it, but you know, practice makes perfect. <laughs> so I'm deciding how I'm going to trim down the rest of these photos. Normally I print out my photos at a smaller size rather than trimming 3x4s, but since I'd already had these printed, um, in a big batch through Walmart. Um, I didn't have that option unless I wanted to reprint and I'm not a fan of having to print more than once and wasting ink and all of that. So here I am struggling with this stupid paper strip again. But this is the last time I'll struggle with it because I get smart with the next set. <laughs> so I'm just trying to make sure it's actually 3 by 4 inches and it goes on straight and that was where I was struggling a bit. So now I need to come up with papers for matting all of the rest of these photos. I want to make sure that the papers I choose for the most part are fairly light because the photos are fairly dark. Um, everyone's wearing gray. The way that I process them is kind of dark. It was getting dark, all of that. So I'm figuring that I will bring up the lightness of the whole spread by using lighter papers. So here's where I get a little bit smarter and trim the paper down after the fact. Dun da da da. Gonna choose a few more. I'm trying to use my paper scraps. You can see I'm a big scrap user. Um, I do entire video video series surrounding using up your scraps. So I like to practice what I preach and use up as much of my scraps as possible rather than cutting into more papers. But of course, if I need to cut into a new paper because I want to use that pattern, I definitely will. I am also not a scrapbook hoarder. If I love it, I use it because there will always be something new next year that I also love. And none of this product looks good sitting on my shelf, at least not as good as it looks in my album, right? All right, so I'm getting 
close to done with the paper matting and the rearranging, the endless rearranging. So now I want to add in some of these DIY Your Scraps clusters I created. I'm not going to add too much journaling here. Um, this is a page in a series of pages where I've already explained where we are and what we're doing. So um, I don't really need to add too much to um, explain what we're doing. So I'm going to go through all of these die cuts and of course I'm going to fast forward it so that you don't have to watch me go through all of these die cuts. There were so many die cuts and chipboards and all of that in the Coco Daisy um, paper and ink collection. Super lucky girl over here to have so much to choose from still. But it takes a little while to go through it all every time I pull it out to make a layout. <laughs> so there's that. I'm going to kind of divide up what I want to use here. I'm liking that craft with this color palette. Um, I don't think I end up using both of those tags, but I do use one. Going through all of the word bits, just creating some layers, a little bit of visual interest. Um, if you watched my video of Joe's 13th birthday pictures, you'll know that I kept that pocket side of that layout super simple. And I do like the way that it looks, but it doesn't feel like me to me. Like it felt like I could have done more, like I didn't finish the layout. So <laughs> we're back to this and that's okay. I'm totally fine with that. Like I said in my plans for 2019 video, I'm gonna just go with the flow and let me be me depending on the day that could change. <laughs> I'm using this frame here to highlight that Joe and Finn are in the background of this photo and they are going nuts and my husband and my oldest son are just, they're cut from the same cloth. The same cloth I am, in fact. We were all just kind of looking at them like they were nuts. <laughs> so I don't know where they get their exuberance from. It's not from me. So I wanted to highlight that they were in that photo. I think it's kind of amusing. I tied the string through that um, tag just for fun. I'm going to tie a string through that top tag as well before the video is over so that it matches. I'm going to layer these labels together at the top of this paper or at the top of this card. I'm going to write on that label when the video is over. I'm going to write photo on it. So it says favorite photo. Stick this tag on here after I of course tie the string through it and I have very little string when it comes to the end of this I'm using up the last of my string so that takes a minute to <laughs> to make it work and I couldn't tie a bow but that's okay I'm getting close to done here you can see how quickly this went um, the whole thing took about a half an hour I'm loving this 9 by 12 size I'm kicking myself for not having switched to a smaller size last year um, but man I love it it's so fast and it still still feels like so um, fulfilling at this size I really love it I'm gonna rub on this butterfly and that geotag just using up the rest of these rub-ons that I have floating around rub-ons don't last so I like to use them as much as possible lost the popsicle stick so I'm trying to find that <laughs> I like the butterfly Kind of wild and free sort of a feeling for these photos. In the geotag I will write Cades Co. Tennessee on that tag. Even though I don't really need to. I just felt like the tag was blank. <laughs> Didn't make much sense blank. I add this raven or crow, whatever it is, to that tag because those are my darker children, my dark souls, my husband and my child I suppose. <laughs> Adding these gold leaves just because I want to. They don't make any sense, but they're pretty, and I like them. <laughs> and this is almost done here. I need to finish this top pocket up here. I'm trying to figure out what to add. Trim this. I was thinking about trimming it down. I didn't like the way that everything was clustered together at the in that corner when that um, photo with the cluster was at, in the middle there so I just rearranged everything. Now I'm going to add in a title and it's going to say stories of us. 
with this pretty gold alphabet and I am done here. Just maybe one or two things, I don't know, something. <laughs> oh yes, I'm gonna attempt to add washi tape that does not end up going on the spread. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you. And if you don't already, go ahead and follow me over on Instagram. I'd love to be friends over there. All right. Thank you.